Who's the pro of Bass Pro Shops? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Today we're gonna be put, put, putting our way around a Bass Pro Shops. Now, how would you describe Bass Pro Shops for anyone who has not experienced it? Mm, uh, it, it is the place where all my inner good old boy dreams come true. Yeah, I would uh, I would describe it as if Walmart acquired REI and gave it a Middle America makeup. Okay, all right, that's very specific. But I, I, I think that's what it is. It's the type of place that I'd take my father-in-law and then never see him again because mm -hmm. they're so gigantic. Hold on, is that your plan? <laughs> Where's Bobby? <laughs> Well, we can just leave. He's not, in a he's in a better place you're now. You're not thinking about that, are you? Okay. All he's right. in a better place. Let's dive in and do some shopping and some putting. It's time for Pick and Putt Bass Pro Shops Edition. Welcome to the putting zone. All right, you know the drill. We're going to be asked a question about Bass Pro Shops, and yeah. we have to take turns picking and putting our balls into the hole that represents the answer, because unlike boring one-hole mini golf, we got three holes to choose from. That's friend. right. We're three times the fun. Each stroke counts as a stroke. Putting the wrong answer hole results in two-stroke penalty. Right. I'm leaving words out. Yeah, who cares? But you kind of know what I'm saying. Right. Whoever has the lowest score at the end of the game wins the right to wear the coveted winner's jacket. Uh, Red's won every time. I have never put on this jacket. Hey, but it's, uh, you know, it's anybody's game today. It's anybody's game. And of course, helping us out as always and taking away my coveted jacket is Chase, caddy by day, boat captain by night. Oh. Bass. Bass boat fisherman. <laughs> We have our first obstacle, <laughs> and it looks as if Fisherman Captain Chase has a friend. Wow. He, you know he what? A friend. He, he looks a lot like uh, His name the Swedish chef. You're fishing, but he's going to net the fish or our ball. You go first. <laughs> uh, but first, I got to know what I'm putting at. I'd rather for you just to go. <laughs> oh, you know, I'm just going to go. I'm going to go blind. <laughs> okay, here's your first question. Bass Pro Shops is one of the leading national retailers of outdoor gear, and on a lot of that gear, you'll find their company motto, which they believe is more than just a saying, it's a way of life. Mm -hmm. What is Bass Pro Shops' official company motto? A life outdoors is a life well lived. When nature calls, we answer, we all live downstream. <laughs> I mean, nature calls. That's a euphemism, a euphemism for needing to, to go poopy. Yeah, go poopy. I, I just I don't think they would do that. And we all live downstream. Nobody wants to live downstream from the power plant. Okay, so you're going for I'm a going life with, outdoors is a, is a life, life well, well lived. lived. But as you can see, Anton is really aggressively trying to stop me from getting there. Okay, Anton. Oh, what a good oh. shot! Now you are pretty close to nature calls. Are you gonna let fate decide? I'm not you know how let... you and you and fate have quite a relationship. I mean, here's the thing though. I literally rolled right over the hole. Fine, go for it. I mean, I have to just complete the mission to get into a life outdoors. Mm, okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that I agree with your answer. Yeah, there's no way it can be the other two. Am I right? You don't want to live downstream. You want to live upstream. So everything you throw in the water. It affects your neighbor? Yeah, that's the spirit, you environmentalist. <laughs> All right, life outdoors for the hole in one. Yeah, you gotta watch that net. You gotta watch that net. You gotta, whoa! Oh, oh no! Whoa. Almost went downstream! You almost went downstream. Hey, now listen, that was almost fake, though. Get, 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 that's, get off me. That is so, I mean, it's so close that fate is telling oh, you. Oh my God. Last time I tried this, ooh, that's now, a tough. See, cause I gotta it's go. It's so tough. I gotta go right by the edge of that. You gotta really thread the needle here. Oh! How did it roll that way? Well, because it hit the side of the hole, bro. All right, if we're correct. Oh, <laughs> I'm tearing down the course. Okay, according to their website, Bass Pro Shops claims their motto is a philosophy that they use to help guide their decisions. Yes. And that motto is, we all live downstream. <laughs> what does that even mean? I what? tried to Google it to see if there was some what? kind of like meaning other fate. than the one you came up with, and there's just not. So fate. I don't know. You should have followed fate. You should have followed fate. But you were so close. Yours was really fate. Mine was still up in the air. And I'm upstream. 
Same holes, new obstacle. There's just a pyramid. We know why that's there. Because when we went to Memphis, we saw a big pyramid, and it was a freaking Bass Pro Shops, right, Stevie? That's right. Standing at over 300 feet tall and originally built as a sporting arena, the largest Bass Pro Shops location is inside of the Memphis Pyramid in Tennessee. Which of the following is not an attraction you would find inside of this flagship store. A rainforest with a simulated thunderstorm, an immersive swamp with live alligators, an underwater themed bowling alley. Bowling is not a outdoorsy type thing. You're in the lead by one. That's the one thing that doesn't fit this equation. But a rainforest, how many people shopping at Bass Pro Shops do outdoors activities in a rainforest? But alligators are difficult to maintain. Everybody's always like, yeah, alligators. But then the next thing you know, you gotta get an alligator guy, and then he's gotta have an assistant. It's very expensive. I think it's easier to maintain than those things that set bowling pins back up. Yeah, you can get your arm caught in one of those. I'm gonna go left towards bowling. I don't know, I think it might be alligators. Good luck getting to that. I actually think bowling alley's starting to make more sense. I'm going away from bowling alley. I'm trying to get around this thing. Oh! oh. Now, what are you gonna do, cause you're closest to alligators. Since I don't feel strong about any particular guess, I'm gonna let fate decide. Alligators, I'm gonna do the legal move, putter length, mm. and I'm just gonna pop it in there. Okay, so I went with, there are not alligators. I disagree. Okay. I have a strong inclination that they have alligators. I think that's easy. So I'm going with rainforest as my official answer. Uh, shoot, I gotta give this some gusto. Ooh, it ooh. went over the left side. You it, ended I up exactly it where I ended up. So, all right. Okay. So I'm gonna make the legal move here. Is that legal? That is totally legal. And then I am going for rainforest. Careful. Yes! Okay, all right, he's in. Rainforest. Okay, the Bass Pro Shops at Memphis Pyramids is like Disneyland for the outdoorsy people, but the one attraction you won't find inside of the 550,000 square foot pyramid is a rainforest <laughs> with a simulated thunderstorm. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, All right. why? Yeah, well, yeah. rainforests are fun. You wanna see Josh and Emily recreate the last meal on the Titanic? Yes. <laughs> well, go over to the Mythical Kitchen channel and watch them do it, it's that simple. Mythical Kitchen Channel, I'll do that. Thanks for the note. Yeah. Oh, look at this new obstacle. We've got a bunch of dead fish and Ooh. a bass guitarist. Ah, got it. <laughs> a bass player. Over a water hazard. That's quite a bridge right there. Careful. Here's the question. In June of 1955, Bass Pro Shop's founder, Johnny Morris, helped country singer Waylon Jennings catch his first fish. Waylon wrote a song about it called Ode to John L. Which of the following is a lyric from that song? He was oh. more than a man. He was a fisherman. Did I hook the fish or did fishing hook me? Don't cry me a river. Throw me a line. Mm, man. Well, you gotta I go first. I love me some whaling. I, I'm relying on your country music knowledge I mean, uh, to copy your answer. I freaking have. Hey, oh, wait. I have whaling on the back I of I thought my, you were gonna start Googling I'm lyrics. I'm gonna Google. I got whaling on the back of my freaking. Phone. Well, you should get this right then, right? But <laughs> is that what's gonna happen? I've never heard of this song, but I feel like C was the most poetic sounding lyric. Well, shoot, I gotta get there. We'll talk about this when we get down there. But right now I'm feeling like, oh crap. Oh, the fish came alive. What are you doing? There's no freaking where to get through these things. Okay, I'm going for like a, a ramping situation. Oh. <laughs> well, nestled in tightly, this is Neil hard. is between now, is this two a, fish. Is it, can I pull this out? Neil lays one. I really don't know how I'm gonna get there. If this was on a real putt putt course, people would be angry. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just gonna... <laughs> uh, I hit Chase, went off. Okay, I don't know what the official rule is, but I guess if you, I hit Chase. If you make it all the way to Chase, and you can drop right there. I think it's more than a man, a fisherman. Okay. Oh! Oh, baby! <laughs> Rowan well, didn't throw me a line! I hope it's throw me a line! Fate has determined yeah. that I have to go and throw me a line. Now, just like you, Link, there's no reason for me to worry about the holes yet. Uh, I just gotta get across these. Yeah, how are you gonna do this? I'm gonna try to do what you did, but I'm gonna try to do it on the first one. I'm gonna try to get to Chase or the Water Hazard yeah. on the first one. 
Oh, dang. Okay, right. so I went out at the fish, so I can't go all the way up here. I got a place here. Okay, so now I'm just trying to somehow get across. Oops. Okay, so now I'm in the water, so now I'll reset. Okay, uh, I actually think that he was more than a man, he was a fisherman. That sounds like Wayland to me. Yeah. Don't cry me a river, throw me a line. That's a pretty poetic, it's definitely not, did the fish hook me, right? He could have said anything, man. So, I just don't want to go into the middle one. Okay, all right. All right, so now, it's anybody's game. Okay, so I'm in the hole in four, you're in in three. Mm -hmm. Waylon Jennings presented this song in 2016 when Johnny was given an Excellence in Business Award. The correct lyric is, did I hook the fish or did the fishing hook me? Or We're did fishing wrong. hook me? That's why you haven't heard the song because that's a bad lyric. There's a giant fish, Link. <sighs> it's a golden carp. Uh, I've wants been told, to eat our balls. You throw your ball in there and it just comes out randomly. Uh, there's three different ways that it could come oh, out. It could come out as pee, poop, or eggs. Yeah, or eggs, right. Okay, <laughs> here's your final question that determines everything. Bass Pro Shops offers all sorts of products that involve third-party dealers, but what is the most expensive item actually sold by Bass Pro Shops? Oh. Is it a Marshall Whitefield Ridge three-piece furniture set? Is it like made out of white-tailed deer? Or is it I just can't got a white-tailed deer that theme. Photo. An Old Town theme. Sportsman Autopilot Kayak? Oh, now Autopilot? that's sleek. It has a trolling motor or a Browning in-swinging vault door. <laughs> you know what? I always get annoyed with my out-swinging vault door. Yeah, it's right. It's like, dang it, why doesn't this swing in? Yeah, it gets, it, you hit the things on the outside of the vault. Well, I mean, we're really going with fate here. But uh, do you, I mean, do you have a guess? I, I think it's the vault. I believe that is the that You is can the best justify a, a big price tag for something that's protecting something that's big enough to have to walk into. Okay. We give it a nice little feed the fishies. Yes! Up! Oh. oh! Oh! I'm lined up for the vault. Come on, vault. Yes! All right, he's in in two. Yes! Yes! Now, here's the thing. I think you're right, but I can't go for the same thing because I'm down by two. I, but the only chance I have of winning is getting through the fish and going into a hole in one, which I don't even think is possible based on how weak that thing came out. But that's, that's gotta, I mean, first I gotta get into the fish. First you gotta get into the fish. Not necessarily an easy thing. Looked like an easy thing. Yours dropped on the other side. So fate is supporting your need to make another choice. <sighs> well, it's not a freaking kayak. I think it's the vault, but again, for reasons already stated, I cannot pick the vault, so I'm gonna go with furniture and hope for a tie. Mm -hmm. But I still have to make this putt. This is McLaughlin for the loss. Okay. Nice. You have accurately <sighs> hit the inaccurate answer, I believe. If it's the furniture and I tie, then fate is not on your side today. I know. While the most expensive item sold by a third-party dealer is an offshore boat for $624,000, <laughs> the most expensive item sold exclusively by Bass Pro Shops is the Marshall Whitefield Ridge three-piece furniture set <laughs> for $4,799.99. <laughs> that means fate. you guys tie. Fate. So hold on, if we tie, do I retain the jacket? Well, Link didn't seem to want the jacket in the first place, so I You don't have know. to win to take the jacket well, back. Well, I, I gotta admit, I kinda ended up wanting the jacket. Well, there's always next time. I'll get over it. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Jesse. I'm Jordan. I'm Emily. And I'm Josh. And we're fishing in Emily, Minnesota. And it's, and it's time, time to spin, spin the wheel, wheel of mythicality. <laughs> Whoa, that was good timing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that fish was sitting there waiting through a few takes probably. Did she hook probably. the fish <laughs> or did fish hook her? Oh no, you gotta ask Waylon. Click the top link to watch us try to play a game about crazy things that happen at Bass Pro Shops and Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Willem and the Galaxy's gonna land. Can I do something that's a reference to the movie, but it's also uh, a longingness for this food? Yeah, I think you can do that. Okay, it's in the top one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't like that.